Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's me, Teresa. So um, today I thought I would do something different compared to my usual videos. Um, I've been doing a lot of watercolor tutorials and without showing my face. So today I want to do some kind of vlog um, because I want you guys to get to know more about me. I feel like it's actually harder than I think to show myself in front of camera. So if I look a little bit awkward, excuse me. And also I have construction in the background, the construction noise in the background. Um, excuse for the noise because they do it every day so there's no way I can avoid it if I talk in front of a camera like this. Uh, so today I'm probably gonna do some paintings and I also do some kind of blog update. I actually have a blog. I list the blog, the website in my description. Um, I don't know if you actually check it out but um, I haven't been updated the blog for a while so today I decided to do it so that um, if you guys want to see the image of the watercolor tutorials that I create on my YouTube you can actually go there and see it and I'm gonna talk about it more later in the video so without further ado let's get started and by the way I also have my coffee with me as you can see in the beginning of the uh, vlog uh, so don't forget your drinks So for today's painting session, instead of looking for a reference photo online, I decided to paint from a real life, which is this flower vase. I got a big flower bouquet the other day at Costco and I divided them into two uh, jars and this is one of them and I think this is looks so pretty to not to paint and since I wanted to practice painting from real life, so why not take advantage why uh, they still look fresh and good looking and also to spice things up a little bit I also wanted to create a pastel color palette for this painting and in order to do that I am mixing every watercolor pens that I am gonna use for this painting with white wash just like what you're seeing here and as you can see why I'm swatching the color on the piece of paper here that the pigment becomes paler but they still appear to be noticeable on the paper because of the white wash so I think uh, the other way to say is that this is the way that you can use watercolor as wash if you don't want to invest too much money in a new set of wash I actually owned a set of pastel watercolor palette from a brand named Brima Confession and honestly when I compared these watercolor pens from mixing with white wash with those color in that palette they look pretty much similar so if you like me and then love pastel colors um, instead of investing in a separate palette, you can invest in a tube of white wash and from there you can literally mix every watercolor paint with white wash to turn them into pastel colors. Having a tube of white wash is such a good investment because you can incorporate it into your watercolor paintings in many different ways such as adding highlights, uh, creating a starry sky by splattering white wash onto the paper or sometimes you can use wash to cover a mistake if you forget to reserve a white space on your painting. I feel like I'm really in love with these colors that I am having from mixing with white wash here so I'm probably gonna save this palette and uh, use this as inspiration for future for future paintings. Painting from real life is something I don't really do very often, but I want to do more of it because I think first it's fun, and second it is the best way to help you observe a certain objects 
in different angles. You have the object in front of you. You can actually turn around to see the form and the shape, the light and the shadow, how it appears in different angles. And I believe that in general, for you to improve your either your painting or your drawing skill, observation is the key. And now I'm starting to paint the flowers. As you can see, I'm just gonna put on the shape of the flowers based on my observation. Super loose, super quick. Sometimes for sketchbook painting, I don't really want to pay too much attention onto details. I'm not really much of a realism painter anyway. And as much as I have the highest admiration and respect for the painters who do realistic paintings for the amount of effort and details that they put in the painting, but honestly, the art that actually draw me into is the loose and impressionistic paintings. For me, the most important thing about art is how it makes me feel. I have a Pinterest board named Arts Inspires Me where I save not only watercolor painting but also acrylic, ink, wash, oil, whatever that give me a good amount of inspiration. And I strongly encourage you to do the same. Having a collection of the arts you love is a great way to give you inspiration and offer you with the new ideas. And by the way, I really really want you guys to comment below to let me know how you feel about this vlogging videos. Do you like it? Do you have any feedback or any ideas what I should do in my vlog? I am open to any recommendations. I'm still gonna do a lot of watercolor tutorials videos if that's what you concern, but I want to add a vlog into my content because I want you guys here to know more about me as a person. I want to share with you guys behind the scenes and my other hobbies as well as my creative journey where I try new things besides watercolor. And up to now, when I check, I currently have 386 subscribers. Wow, that's a lot of people and I would never think that I would have this many people subscribe to my channel. Um, so I'm very really grateful for all of you who take time to watch my videos, who subscribe, like and comment. I literally read every comments that you guys have on my channel and I am so touched by all the comments. They're so lovely, so inspiring and they mean a lot to me. So thank you very much. And yeah, that's that. I just want you guys to know that I am very grateful for all of you and I will try my best to put more valuable content for you guys. I honestly don't see myself as a professional painter, but it doesn't stop me from sharing what I've learned along the way with you guys. And sharing is also a way for me to learn as well, don't you think? So this is actually a win-win situation. Okay guys, I'm done with the painting. Here is the final look. And one more time, this is the real life and here is the painting. Let me know what you think. And by the way, since we are already in my sketchbook, I'm going to show you very quickly a mini tour of my sketchbook. I haven't filled up the sketchbook yet, just a couple pages, but I want to show you guys anyways. And this is the first page, it's just a couple of flowers doodles. 
here's more flowers painting I want to show you guys this tutorials but I don't really like um, the ink that I added into the flowers so yeah and this is the ocean painting that I also have a tutorial on my YouTube channel and next on the left side is the painting that I follow tutorials on YouTube from an artist that I really like her name is Ekaterina Smirnova and really love her style. And on the right side is the painting that I recreated from the painting from a master. I will show on the corner um, on the screen for you guys. I'm not sure how to pronounce his name. And he was a French both impressionistic painter. What I love about this painting is the composition and it's, it's something that actually makes this painting a masterpiece, I think. And the name of the painting is House Among Trees. And here's more flowers painting. Um, this one also painted from real life from one of the flower bouquet that I got from Costco. And this one is I try to paint the flowers separately and also add inks into it so that it can have some kind of different look. Just try to experiment with new techniques. And next is also a flower paintings and you guys will see this in one of my videos. And these are a couple of fruits painting, uh, apples, banana, and a tray of oranges. Recently, I'm really in the mood of trying to paint different subjects that I am not familiar with. And it's a way for me to try new things. Uh, next, I am going to update my blog. And now I'm going to show you very quickly my, uh, my blog. And yeah, here is my website. I actually need to call it a website and it has a blog section in there. And the name is teresabui.com and this is the front page. When you open the website, first thing you're gonna see is my photo, my portrait, and a little bit of introduction about myself. And up here, you can go to a different section like blog, gallery, contact, store, so and if you wrote down you can see um, it also display a couple of articles in the blog section and below are some of the handmade greeting cards that i used to sell but um, the store is temporarily closed for now so if you still i need to remove these but if you still see these in my blog when you check it out and just yeah just know that the store is closed so just ignore these and at the bottom of the page I also show a different section where you can click and it's gonna link you to a new page again just ignore the shop and let me click onto the blog here you can see all the uh, blog posts that I have posted over time so all my youtube channel watercolor tutorials i posted everything here um, and the reason one is the art therapy painting a colorful sunset sky and as i mentioned in the beginning i haven't updated the blog in a while so i so that's why today i was just sit down and see if there's any um watercolor tutorials videos that i haven't create a blog post yes i will try to do all of them uh yeah so that's my blog um i hope that you're gonna check it out i will have the link in description below or you just go to google and type teresabui.com and it's gonna link you to my blog um about my instagram i do have my instagram account um i haven't used this for a while 
I stopped using it a long time ago and I don't think I will go back to use it um, I don't think that is the place for me actually I just started my Instagram account not long ago because I wanted to show my art other than that purpose there's nothing else I don't have the personal Instagram account as well I guess I will focus mostly on my blog and try to upload all my image of my watercolor paintings on there and also have a blog to um, I will treat it just like Instagram so you can go there and check it out and um, see any updates on my YouTube Okay guys, here's one of the blog that I just updated and as you can see it has the still image of my watercolor paintings so you can check it out if you want to see a still image and you can also watch the video from here so it's actually a one-stop uh, one shop and also let me know if you run into any problems when you check out my blog so that I can fix it Okay guys, um, that's I guess that's pretty much it for the vlog today this is my first vlog so it's a little bit messy a little bit awkward so I hope that you don't mind and um, I'm just gonna go and grab lunch and continue what I'm doing and uh, before I say goodbye I just have a couple of updates for you guys I recently just ordered a couple of stuff on Blick website so expect to have unboxing video coming up probably um, I expect to receive the order next week so probably the week after next week I will do that video and I also plan to do a video on how to all the information that you need for beginners in watercolors I am currently planning for that video as well so I want to post this probably in the next week Saturday next week so if you have any struggle with watercolor and you want to know feel free to um, comment below so that I can add that into my video as well and thank you so much for watching my vlog today and i hope you have a nice day don't forget to click subscribe if you haven't already because i will post new video every saturday and i will see you in my next one bye